In this problem, we're told an airplane is traveling 835 kilometers per hour in a direction 41.5 degrees west of north. In A, we're told to find the components of the velocity vector in the northerly and westerly directions. B says to find how far north and how far west has the plane traveled after 2.5 hours. So we have this diagram here. We know that our vector here is 835 kilometers per hour, and we're trying to find uh, the components of this uh, velocity vector. So essentially, we're trying to find this length right here and this length right here. I'm going to label this length v sub y and this to be v sub x. And so we also know that this degree right here is 41.5 degrees. So let's go ahead and label that. So 41.5 degrees. And so let's go ahead and solve for v sub y first. So in order to solve for v sub y, what you're going to want to do is take the cosine of your angle, 41.5 degrees, and it's going to be equal to, well, we know that cosine is the same thing as a, a, uh, cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So our adjacent of our angle is v sub y, and our hypotenuse is 835. So I'm just going to call v sub y y, so equals y over 835. So and if we want to just solve for y, we can multiply both sides by 835, and we'll get y equals 835 times the cosine of 41.5. If you plug that in, you'll get that it equals 625.378. I'm going to round to the whole number, so it's going to say it's going to stay 621 or 625. So 625, and then we know it's in kilometers per hour. So 625 kilometers per hour. So V sub Y, 625 kilometers per hour. So we solve for this length right here. Let's solve for V sub X. So in order to do that, you're going to do the sine of your angle. 41.5, that's going to be equal to, uh, we know sine is the same thing as opposite over hypotenuse. So if this is our angle, opposite is V sub X, and our hypotenuse is 835. So I'm just going to call it X over 835. If we want to solve for X, multiply both sides by 835. So X equals 835 times the sine of 41.5. If you go ahead and do that, you'll get 553. 0.2877 and I'm just going to round to the whole number so 553 and it's a velocity right so kilometers per hour so v sub x equals 553 kilometers per hour so now we got uh, the components in the northerly which is this direction in the westerly 553 and so now what we want to do is find how far north and how far west the plane has traveled after 2.5 hours so if we know it's traveling uh, some some distance, right? So kilometers per hour, and we know how many hours it's traveling. All we got to do is take uh, how many kilometers per hour it travels times the number of hours. So let's start with this one, which is going to be north, right? This is the north direction. So we do 625 times 2.5, right? So 625 times 2.5 is going to give you 1,562.5. I'm going to round to the whole number, so 1,563. And so if this is kilometers per hour, it traveled 1,563 kilometers in the north uh, direction. And so now we want to find the west direction. So it's going to be 553 times 2.5. And so 553 times 2.5 is going to give you 1,382.5. And so I'm going to round up. So 1,383, and it's going to be in kilometers, right? because this was in kilometers per hour. So these are going to be how far it travels north and west after 2.5 hours, and these right here are going to be your uh, vector components.